I came to the, the UN firstly to convey President Lula's call for, a, for an urgent multilateral humanitarian action to end the suffering of civilians caught up in the midst of these hostilities. I also underscored President Lula's appeal for the immediate and unconditional release of the civilians that have been abducted and held hostage since the beginning of this crisis. Brazil will continue to promote dialogue among members and action on the part of the Council through the opening of possible avenues of negotiation. The immediate objective is clear and immediate to prevent further bloodshed and loss of life and to try to ensure urgent, unimpeded humanitarian access to the affected areas. International humanitarian law and international human rights law provide clear guidance on what needs to be done. A humanitarian pause is urgent as well as the establishment of humanitarian corridors to access Gaza. Much of the reputation of the United Nations, and in particular of the Security Council, depends on the approach of the organization to the ongoing crisis. The eyes of the world are also on us here in New York. Brazil has been following the situation in Israel and Palestine with deep sadness and concern. Alarmed by the widespread human suffering, we firmly believe that all efforts must prioritize the protection of civilians, especially the many children caught up in the violence. We received with dismay the news that the Israeli forces called for all civilians, more than one million, living in northern Gaza to leave within 24 hours. As the United Nations has stated, that may lead to unprecedented levels of misery for innocent civilians. We are also following closely the situation of Brazilian citizens in both Israel and Palestine. We have repatriated hundreds of Brazilians from the region so far. We mourn the three youngsters who perished in the attack to the music festival they were attending while in Israel. We express our deepest sympathy to all families that lost their loved ones in this conflict, including humanitarian world workers and UN personnel. We also express our solidarity to the wounded and displaced. We hope that peace may prevail for all in the Middle East and will continue to work to achieve that end. Wow.